It's Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Now I'm filming this on a Saturday. I don't know when you're gonna get it, but let's hit that intro. One and a, two and a, one, two, three, four. What's up, good people, AKA winners. That's what we do, A. Hey, that's all we do, A, 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 A. I'm coming to you with another video. Coming to you with another video. Ricky, Ricky. Hey, I do have a video which is gonna be a first impression on today and it's going to be me trying out a um a foundation which I didn't even look up yet but I will but just in case you would like to know on the eyes it is a natural neutral type of day for me but I did get this palette from Colourpop called you're golden hey you're golden girl you're golden and um this is what it looks like I'm thinking it's pretty nice like look at that what color did I use on my eyes I think I used this on the lid right here this is the one that has like residue. So that's the one I used on the lid. But it's a really, really nice neutral palette with like some bronzy colors in there too. If you have not joined the fan bam, go ahead and do so by clicking subscribe. Make sure you tell your mama, tell your friends, tell anyone who's talking comprehend. Send it in a letter, baby. Tell it on the phone. Clinique was so nice to give me this foundation right here. Hold on. They gave me three shades and which I can totally appreciate, but we're gonna talk about that in a minute. It's called Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation. Oh, and Broad Spectrum SPF 25. So it has an SPF of 25. I am gonna swatch them all so that you guys can, um, you know, see the different shades compared to my skin. And I usually do a 450, but that's not my exact shade at all. It's just the closest one matches my skin. Girl, I'm trying to remember all my other shade foundations. In the Morphe foundation, I am number 28. This is what I've been rocking a lot. Every time I do a foundation video I endeavor to leave all of the different shades of foundations that I rock in the comments or in the description but I tend to forget but I do have a whole review and first impression playlist that I will insert in this video but I have a review and first impression playlist now let's look this up real quick because I don't know anything about this foundation I don't know if it's hydrating I don't know what like I, I don't know nothing she's shaped like a little bitty egg or something you see that so at first I did like this and I turned it and I was like why do we have this type of foundation and then I said wait a minute I think that's something it goes another way and then it comes off the lid comes off that way and then you do have a pump and it is a small one it looks small but I feel like because it's so fat it might hold a nice amount so this is B80 the one that I'm thinking I'm gonna try and then I have um, B90 not sure what the B stands for something must be going on here because it looks like I have the same ones but they're clearly not the same color I'm gonna have to look at that one I don't have on contacts because they are for seeing far it's marketed for um, $42 as I said and that's actually a little pricey for Clinique because when I used to like rock hard with Clinique they were about like $28 and one thing that I like absolutely love was that they were on the lower end of the spectrum as far as price was concerned okay but it says it has a natural finish it's long wearing it's oil free it has hyaluronic acid because um, I always mess that up and it has vitamin C and it says about the product what it is it's a breakthrough clinical foundation with three serum technologies and an oil-free formula that includes hyaluronic acid salicylic acid vitamin C and UP 302 not really sure what that is but if y'all know go ahead and drop it in the comments for best results apply a moisturizer apply after moisturizer I've already done that and then start with the half pump you know I'm generous so we're not doing that so I'm guessing because they said add more if you need additional coverage that it is just buildable, right? So this is glass, because it says rinse the glass bottle, dispose, recycling bin, da 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 da. I'm going to put on some primer first. And I, while I'm putting on this primer, this is the Lancome La Base. This is just all I've been using probably over the last couple years. But I kind of know which one I'm gonna go with, right? So we have this one, this one. They are a little liquefied. But I'm gonna try this one. This is how I test my foundation. Let's do this side so I can really see. So I usually just test like this. This is the one I'm going for. That's a lot of product. And I would do that after I put on the primer, but it's okay, it's when I thought about it. Okay, it has a little more red in it. And then the last one definitely has more red in it. I could totally use 
either one of these, but I'm gonna go for this one. To be honest with you, I probably could have gone a little bit lighter too. If they have another color that's lighter, I probably could have gone with that one too. And they also sent me some concealer. Um, they have amber and then they have mocha. I don't really, it looks as though mocha is a little bit lighter. It has more of a golden undertone. So we're gonna go with mocha. I'm just gonna go straight in with the foundation, even though I usually use corrector. But because it's Saturday, you know, I'll just kind of ease off. It's not thick at all, but I can tell, like, I'm a, let me rub it for you guys. It's like very, very creamy. And if you see around there, well, around there, it kind of dries really quickly. Oh, that's like super creamy. Like, I like creamy. I like you. Baby, that's the best. You the best. That's the best, um, I think, color match. Now, this goes against what I believe. I usually do my corrector first, but I guess I got excited. Oh, see, I never had a problem with Clinique staying on and staying in place and just being perfect. Because one thing about Clinique, they are, um, they do have skincare products as well. So I totally appreciate brands that, you know, are all about like skincare. That is like a go for me that is a that is a that is a really a good look that is a positive thing the reason i don't use foundation under my eyes is because i have to pick one you know how you gotta fight your battles make a decision like either i'm gonna do corrector and concealer or we gonna do corrector and foundation or something so i'm using the fenty beauty and it go with a little something like this that's what it looks like it is in the shade toffee oh come on fancy schmancy Look at the tip of her. This is like definitely my skin tone. And this one looks lighter than the other one. So anyway, we're just doing this for the extra coverage because it definitely is not brightening anything. Okay, so the concealer is $27. It is called Clinique Even Better All Over Concealer Plus Eraser. Um, oh, and you get 0.2 ounces. I meant to tell you guys how many um, ounces you get in the foundation. So let me look that up real quick too. The foundation is one point or is one ounce. Okay, 30 milliliters. So yeah, the concealer runs about 27 bucks. So let's just see if it's erasing anything. It would have been nice for me to try it like without the um corrector but i'm not doing that when i gotta go live baby i got to put my best foot forward over here okay but clinique every time i've used clinique it has lasted all day it was great coverage i mean i just think that you know it's not that i you know don't love them anymore it's just that i started trying a whole bunch of different things and finding other things that i love too and then this one foundation that they dropped they didn't even have my shade and so i just wasn't able to try a lot of their stuff but i'm glad they sent me this because look like they didn't forget about me this time girl look at her and while that's sitting i actually use my fenty beauty in the shade 390 i use this powder we're gonna juice my brush up this is my morphe I think it's E1, yeah girl, E1 brush. It is just my holy grail. So I always set my powder. I mean, I, <laughs> I always set my foundation with powder. Like this, I'm no stranger to this because I do have combination skin. Combination, you hear me? So what I'm gonna do, I'll just, you know, this part I'll show you guys and then I'll come back with the final. Cause I'm not doing a super beat. I'm going to be using this Juvia's Place bronze palette and I'm just looking at my monitor. I'm using the one at the top. This is the top of the palette. Cause I don't, when I really wanna be beat, girl, I use that. And then I'm just going into this. This is my Beverly Hills highlighter by Ofra and it's all about the highlighter today. I'm not even using a blush. The reason that I like to do a setting spray is because I like everything to um, set all in. See the highlighter? I don't want it to look chunky or I don't want you to be able to see the line of demarcation. I just want it to all fit together. So here we go with the spray. All right, so this is what we're looking like. When I juice my lips up and everything, I'll come back and then I'll do like a close up with my phone and everything. So I'll be right back. And we're back. Hey, I am gonna put on some glasses. Okay, you can leave that open, babe, cause we're good. Thanks, appreciate you. Small boo. <laughs> Anyway, so I, I am about to record right now too, but first let me show you. See, I told you them sideburns, we was gonna get that together. Get it together. And here we go, up close and personal. I mean, come on skin. Like Clinique, I'm here for you. I'm here for you, like the skin, everything. I know y'all was all up in my grill, but it is a nice foundation and I don't expect anything less from Clinique 
literally. I will be wearing these today. These are not prescription. I did a video um, on my channel um, in collaboration with Vogue Me, so you can check that out. But I just wanted to do like a different vibe because I'm rocking a t-shirt and everything today. So I probably, um, I wanted to get up close and personal so you guys can see that. I may just do a picture later and you guys can see how it works out, but I'm gonna tell you right now. I literally, when I do wear glasses, I begin to sweat a little bit right here. So I'll just probably keep you posted as time goes on how I feel about Clinique, but I'm pretty confident about them that it's gonna be a win-win because Clinique always wins, I'm just saying. So anyway, you guys have an awesome, blessed day. Let me know your thoughts on the foundation, how it looks, if you've ever tried it. Hit me in the comments, baby, so I can, so we can just kind of talk, okay? But don't forget to like, don't forget to thumbs up, which is liking. Don't forget to share, okay, with your people. Don't forget to comment, okay, all right? And um, what else is it? Mm, subscribe. We can't forget that, all right? You guys have an awesome, blessed day. And I'm not gonna say that I will see you sooner than you think, but I will see you soon. Bye! Confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. Yeah. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or a Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, see key beauty makeover. Yeah.